Hello and welcome to the News in English live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Nur. The top headlines include a suicide explosion in Marco City has killed a district commissioner. Somali Prime Minister has released a statement against Al Shabaab attack in Ethiopia. Somali regional state in Ethiopia claimed to have killed over 200 Al Shabaab members in a violent attack. Somali government is yet to speak about the recent clashes in central Somalia. Russian Foreign Minister has landed in Ethiopia as part of his African tour. Uh, Ukraine crisis has impacted the food insecurity in Africa. United States of America has accused Putin, the president of Russia, of committing war crimes in Ukraine. Welcome back to the news in detail. We begin with the latest explosion it's in southern Somalia uh, that killed uh, at least uh, a dozen Somali people. Two separate explosions earlier on Wednesday morning in southern Somali town is killed uh, at least uh, 11 people, uh, including a local administrator, as Ted Media has reported. The Al-Qaeda-linked militant group Al-Shabaab said it carried out both terror attacks in Somalia. In the first incident, two palm explosion is planted in a livestock market in Afgoya district in Lower Shabal region, killed at least four people, police and residents said. One explosion uh, went off and uh, no casualties were reported in Afgoya. Then a second explosion was reported, killing four civilians. Police captain Nur Farah told Reuters from Afgoya district, located 30 kilometers uh, west of Mogadishu. The second explosion uh, is reported in Marco district, located in Lower Shabelle region. That killed. Uh, the district commissioner, uh, local residents have confirmed uh, the district official uh, was named uh, Abdullahi Wafo, who was known for his uh, campaign against uh, Al Shabaab militants in the region for the past uh, uh, years. Ahmed Farah, a market resident, said uh, security personnel had sealed off the scene of the plaster. After the incident, uh, Al Shabaab military operations spokesperson Abdul Aziz Abu Musab said the Islamist group was behind uh, the both attacks. We killed uh, in an attack in Marco district, uh, the top administrator and several of his bodyguards uh, said uh, Abu Musab speaking to the Reuters by phone. Al Shabaab has been fighting uh, for more than 10 years to dislodge the country's central government uh, to establish its version of Islamic rule in the Horn of African nation. Uh, the group frequently carries out gun assaults and pumpings of both military and civilian casualties uh, in Somalia, has also carried out attacks on the regional targets, especially neighboring Kenya which has sent uh, troops in 2011 to fight against uh, Al-Shabaab militants in southern Somalia.
Ethiopian authorities claim to, to have killed dozens of Al Shabaab uh, members who crossed over the country's border last week and didn't uh, provide further details about the casualties incurred against uh, Al Shabaab militants. Speaking to the viewer, Somali service, Somali regional state president Mustafa Agder said his regional forces have inflicted heavy casualties on Al Shabaab after violent attack in the region. Authorities in the Somali region had announced a victory against uh, Al Shabaab militants, something uh, which now seems to be in accurate. Mustafa Agjer, the president of the Somali regional state, has been meeting the security officials from the federal government of, Soma of Ethiopia. Witnesses claimed uh, over 500 militants crossed uh, over the Los Koran area where they clashed. Uh, with local security forces and the militants reported and uh, natives of Oromia, Somali region, have been reportedly uh, training in Somalia. Mustafa Agjar uh, has claimed that the attack by Al-Shabaab was rebelled by his local security forces and urged uh, the local residents to collaborate with the security forces to avert uh, a further counter-terrorism attacks. If they erect their flag, that there will be a victory for them. Abu Abiyan said they have been dreaming of penetrating Ethiopia for a longer time and to erect their flag, it will mean a huge victory. Uh, this will encourage global jihadists to support them, he said. The militant is cut telephone networks in Yed and Ato towns along the Somali uh, Ethiopian border and the clashing with new police officers, but authorities in the Somali regional state believe that the incursion in the town is were diversionary to allow the militants to use different routes. Officials from both sides of the border confirmed that the attack is occupied uh, new police forces and distracted them as the heavily armed uh, Al-Shabaab units crossed uh, the border and opposed. Uh, Mohammed Abdi Tol, the governor of Bakal region within Somalia, said Al-Shabaab launched the attack and uh, have uh, suffered heavy casualties from the Somali National Army uh, backed by the Ethiopian forces in Yed and Ato areas in the border. At least uh, three Kenyan police officers were injured on Monday after Al-Shabaab fighters attacked a security camp in the port region of Mandera. Northeastern Regional Police Commissioner uh, George Seto said Tuesday the officers were injured uh, at the El Ram anti-stock theft unit camp at about 2 a.m. in the Kotulu area near the Somali border. He has added that the officers of the police repulsed the attackers who reportedly escaped towards the Kenyan Somali border after the attack. Al-Shabaab didn't comment on the latest attack inside Kenya. Kenyan police have heightened security in the country ahead of the general election is slated for August 9th. The August poll is said to be tightly contested between major political alliances. Uh, Kenyan Kawaza headed by the deputy president William Ruto, Azimo Lamajuncha, former prime minister Raila Odinga. Uh, Kenya is facing uh, Al-Shabaab threat for more than 10 years after it sent its troops to the country 
to fight the militant uh, group behind uh, the attacks in Westgate and Garissa University, which claimed the lives of hundreds of Kenyan citizens. You are still following our news updates live from Mogadishu. Russian Foreign Minister has landed in Addis Ababa for talks with top Ethiopian officials. Russia's Foreign Affairs Minister Sergei Lavrov has arrived in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa on Tuesday for a two-day visit in the last leg of his uh, four-nation African tour. Lavrov also visited Egypt, the Republic of Congo, Uganda as part of his tour, aimed at rallying support for sanctions hit uh, Russia as it war with the Ukraine interest the 60th month. Upon arrival at the Addis Ababa uh, Paul International Airport, Lavrov was welcomed by Foreign Affairs Minister of Ethiopia, Demek Mekanon, and uh, the Deputy Prime Minister. The Russian Foreign Affairs Minister is expected to meet with high-level officials from both Ethiopian government and the African Union Commission in Addis Ababa. Lavrov's visit come on the heels of Turkey's progress deal with Ukraine to clear wheat exports from the Ukrainian ports which have been causing global supply chain issues. Musa Fakir Mohammed, the chairperson of the African Union Commission welcomed the deal signed on July 22nd in Istanbul, Turkey, in the presence of the UN Chief Antonio Guterres and the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The chairperson of the Commission commends all the parties on this successful development according to an African Union statement. Since the war between Russia and Ukraine began in late February this year. The African Union has remained neutral as Pan African Party. In March uh, 17th, African nations abstained from UN resolution condemning Russia for its war against Ukraine. In June, Mahatma visited both Moscow and Kiev. Many African countries depend on the wheat exporters from Russia and Ukraine. The wheat prices have skyrocketed following the incursion against Ukraine in February. This English news live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Noor and the rest of the team here in our studio in Mogadishu. We leave you. Bye for now.